<sighs> Exiled. Sexiled. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, Barr. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. Gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. Read my mind. Okay. Uh, good effort. Next time I get the camera, okay? Well, okay, but. It's not easy holding the thing all, like, backwards and forwards at the same time. <laughs> okay, let's go. I've got cabin fever. <sighs> Burr, it is freezing out here. Now, that's something I can help you with. And how are you going to do that? Uh, i got a few things in mind. Not a lot of TLC for this place anymore. Kind of a bummer. Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. I think you bring out the worst in her. Is that so? Epic jealousy. Suck it. This thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? Mike! Generator! All oh, right, got it. Nice one, Mikey. Woo! You are a wizard. Damn. The gates shut. 
Pascal open. Pretty good, right? Yeah, totally. That was just awesome. Oh, yeah. I bring the hit. <laughs> Psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure, a sexcapade. Wow. At least. From Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. It's all such a blur. I can barely even remember what happened. Well, what I remember is that we played a stupid half-baked prank that probably got Hannah and Beth killed. Hey, I mean... It's not our fault they ran into the woods. Yeah. How could anyone have expected them to do a dumb thing like that? I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, a.k.a. Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. Ah! Ah! Jess! Fuck! Hey, Jessica! Yep! Hey! I'm okay! Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Can you get out? I... Uh, I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. All right, coming after you. Just stay put. Hey, handsome. Want to help me move this cart thing? Grunting together. This is not what I pictured. the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? <laughs> we'll save it for the cabin, Buster.
Stogie. It's a weird place to hang out and smoke cigars. <laughs> it's recent. Wonder who's up here. Whoa. This place is like historical. Holy bat cave. It's gotta be Native American, right? I don't think the miners were getting their arts and crafts on, no. <laughs> no, no, it's like a shrine or something. A shrine to what? Josh said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? Yeah. Take a ride on Air Force One? <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for the stump speech, buddy. Oh, a telescope. Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin. Um, whoa. You all right? I just saw someone at the cabin. Okay. Let me see. Sampling the old eggnog again, babe? It's just us up here. Uh, maybe. Hey, Jess? Mm hmm. Stay close by, okay? What's up? Oh, uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh. Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Come on. Let's not hug a bear. <laughs>
you get your panties all bunched up? She's so gross. Like diseases and shit. before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half-empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. <laughs> oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike. You've got something on your face. Ah! Boo! Okay. Okay. Well, that's how it's gonna be. to have a spirit board. A what? Wow, you have a spirit board? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're fun, right? Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and... Well... Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys, see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um, okay. Guess so. Brad, I mean, you're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? gave Chris and Ash a mission together. Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. And I just wish Chris would go for it. He's so paralyzed thinking she's gonna shoot him down. It's not gonna happen. Which thing? 
Well, neither. If he doesn't go for it, which, knowing Chris, he won't unless someone's holding a gun to his head. <laughs> No, Sam. Yes, Josh. I just wanted to say. Uh, what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year, and you know that you came, Sam. Josh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need, whenever, we're all gonna make it through this together. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. Sorry to drag you down into the bowels. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. Playing baseball out in all that snow. No, it wasn't in the winter, silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters. It was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I don't know. Can't go back. New reality. Right, Sam? Anyway. I'm supposed to be fixing this whole guy, right? Here, can you can you hold this? What's that? Hold is what? Just shine here so I can see what I'm doing. Hey, can you just keep the light so I can see, okay? Sam, please. Nice one. Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mmm, sounds kinda complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. Try again. Ah! Relax. It's not that hard. Just press the button when the light comes okay, on. Okay, okay, okay. I'll get it this time. Sure. Like it. <laughs> All right. 
right. Bye, girl. Unlikely. If it were me, I wouldn't want this place to burn down on my watch. Yeah, right. Not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity. Are you? Are you serious? Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor. Joke master. Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank, which was dumb. Holy crap! You were scared. Admit it. I was. Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh! What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're going to take a vow of silence. <laughs> okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just... Been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. He's a schema. Okay. Hello, Earthsumat. You gonna come with me to get my bag? Yeah. Madam? Why, thank you, sir. Hey, ma'am? Yeah? Feeling a little better now? Say what? That was a nasty fight. The further we get from Jessica, the better I feel. I just want you to relax. You know? Have a good time. 
I'll relax when everyone else relaxes. But thanks for trying. Get me somewhere private? Why don't you uh, come find out? That's weird. What are you doing, weirdo? What? I came back. Good boy. Now obey. Thanks for helping me find my bag. I know I can be a little high maintenance. Hey, goes both ways. What? I can be a little high maintenance too. Gotta say, I'm kind of wondering if you're gonna make it worth my while. Oh, really now? Is that what you're wondering? Just being honest. Considering what's in this little baggie, maybe you should wait until we get back up to the lodge to make your final assessment. Okay. Nice to be here with you, muscle man. Uh, I'm not all muscle. <laughs> there are some brains in here, too. Well, you got enough brains to like me, so let's see that brawn. You ever done it outside before? Outside of what? My car. I like your car. Roomy. This ain't roomy enough for you? Uh, you know what? Maybe there's a better spot. Does this spot start with a G? There are lots of places out here. I already started clearing this off for us. Gentlemen. Oh, come on, let's look around. Oh. Well, look at that. Hey. The hell, Em? Don't be jealous. Why would you take me here? Made me feel like a chump. Don't be so sensitive. I'm here with you right now. Mike's the chump. Okay, maybe chump isn't the right word. What is? Lucky. Hmm. You up in there? so important in the bag, anyways. It's just my undies. The lacy ones. Well, hell, we don't need those. You don't want me to model them for you? I'm just gonna rip them off, anyways. Maybe I want to show them off. Puts me in a generous mood. Let's go get them.
are, madam. Thank you. Oh, my. Very impressive. What was that? Uh, I'm not sure. Probably just an animal. Do not like to understand your feeling toward people who fear failure and worry about what others think of them. Do you share this fear? And how do you feel about people who are afraid? I see, well, Emily has quite a fear of failure. Do you feel bad for her? Indeed, that is apparent from the choices you've made. Investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What do you value? What do you respect in yourself and others? Which would you say was most important in a person? Loyalty or honesty? <laughs> so you would tell a lie in order to be loyal to a friend, okay? And what about loyalty versus charity? <laughs> so you would sooner look after your friends before caring for those in greater need? Huh? Once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy of Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Boom. Butterfly effect. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me with your sluttiness? Stop it! Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. yeah. All right. Did you hear that? What in God's name are you wearing? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. Watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Yes? <coughs> Josh! So, it says here. 
To communicate with the spirit world, you must free your mind of all preconceptions, drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entirely to the will of others, sublimating your every desire to the whims of the spirit master, which is me. It doesn't say that. And all present will remove their garments at my sole discretion. Chris, come on.